Welcome to Clearview. This is the Panther View Complete Installation Guide. You'll need a computer monitor or TV and a video cable to complete this installation. Everything else is in the box. Now let's get started. You will find three smaller boxes inside of the main package. Here's what you'll find in each box. Let's start with your recorder. Now let's connect the power supply and the mouse first. Plug it in below the power switch that you see here. Plug the mouse into the USB. Now connect your monitor. We're using a standard computer monitor for this installation. You can also connect an HDTV with an HDMI cable, but remember you can only use one monitor at a time. Now locate your camera wires. Be sure to notice that the camera wires are labeled. One end goes to the DVR. The other end to the camera. Be sure not to run the wire backwards. Plug your network cable into the DVR. Plug the other end into your router or modem. Locate your camera power supply and plug in your cameras. Plug the power supplies for the DVR and cameras into the wall outlet. When the recorder boots up, you'll see the following prompt. You must change your password for security reasons. Click next to where it says Old Password to bring up the on-screen keyboard. Type in the default password, which is case sensitive, A-D-M-I-N, all lowercase. Now click Enter on the keyboard. Choose a new password. Remember, it's case sensitive too, and it can only be six characters. Enter your password again to confirm. Now click Enter on the keyboard. If you entered the old password and the new passwords match, you will see this. Click OK. When you are asked to log in, use the drop down arrow to choose the admin username. Click on the space next to the password to enter the new password you just created. Now click OK.
welcome to the Startup Wizard. You won't need to change anything on the General tab, so go ahead and click on Date and Time. Most people prefer a 12-hour format. Make sure the date and time are correct, and then click Save. Now click Apply. Now click Next. Click on the drop down next to the channel you see here. Click on All. This is just a time saver since most of the time you'll probably want all of your cameras to be set the same way. Click the drop down next to the frame rate. Go ahead and change that to 15. The human eye can only see 17 frames a second, so setting this to 15 will still appear smooth and crisp. This drop down will allow you to send a better video to your cell phone, so let's change this to D1. Just to save on data usage, let's change this to 10 frames a second. It won't change the recording quality. Now click Apply. Let's tell the recorder when to record video. Click on the drop down next to the channel and click on All. See right above the days of the week on the left side? Click on the icon next to the word All. What this is doing is selecting all days of the week. Put a check mark in the yellow box that has MD next to it. Then click here and hold the mouse button down. Slide the yellow bar all the way to the right. Your DVR will now record 24-7, but it will also mark the motion events, so your events are easier to find. Now click Next. Click on this dot next to the extra stream. This is so you can see your recorded video on your phone. Make sure the screen looks just as you see here. Now click Next. Time to put your recorder online. Click the DHCP box as you see here. Now click finished. You're done with the DVR setup. Now click OK. Now we're going to set up your cell phone. Right click on the mouse and you will bring up the menu screen. Now click on main menu. 
Click on Network under the Settings tab. We saw this information earlier in the setup. Look at the list along the left side of the screen. Click on the P2P setting and you'll see a QR code on screen. Leave this screen up, we're going to come back to it in a minute. Now let's download the mobile app for free on your iPhone or Android. Open your App Store or Play Store and search for Clearview Direct. Go ahead and download it now. As you can see, once it's downloaded, it looks the same on either phone. You are seconds away from seeing it on your phone. Now touch here, the three lines at the top left side of the screen. Now go to the device manager. Let's add a new device by touching the plus sign at the top right corner. Remember that we changed the password during the initial setup. Type in your new password you created earlier. You will need to give it a name. This can be anything you want, it's just for reference when you go to view your cameras on your cell phone. Now touch this icon to scan the QR code that you have on your monitor. Hold the phone up to the monitor so you can see the QR code on your phone. Once it scans, it will return to this screen and you will see it entered as its own serial number. Push Start Live Preview at the bottom of the screen. There's your cameras.